I am Solaj Alfred. Welcome to the HDS ePoll. It's your opportunity to weigh in on the most pressing issues of the day. The public debate on who should be prioritized for the COVID-19 vaccination continues. So far, with the limited rollout, healthcare workers, some leading politicians, fire service personnel with inpatients and the over 65s high on the list. Questions are being raised about minibus drivers' place on the queue, given their role and their level of interaction with the public. So, we asked. Should minibus drivers be made a priority for the COVID-19 vaccination? We tallied the numbers on our voting platforms and here is how you voted. 77% said yes, 18% said no, and 5% had no comment. We also took to the streets to get your opinion and here's what you had to say. Honestly, I don't believe that the, the bus driver should be the first set to receive the COVID vaccine. Like I said, they play an important role, but they should not be the first set of people to receive. To receive. Okay, the, the nurses, the policemen, they interact with the people, they play a very important role in the community. I believe they should be the first set of people to receive the COVID-19. Yes, I believe so because the bus driver is um, into the public than anybody else out there. Then bus drivers should get that before the um, officers, before the nurses, because all those people have to travel on the bus driver, so the bus driver has to be the first priority to get the vaccine so people will be, feel safe about the bus. Yes, man. It should be the first set of people to receive the vaccine because they travel with people, people, people life is in their hands because they are they could get the virus anytime from people if they take the vaccine. Oh uh, yes, say the truth. I think they are the, should be the first set to receive the vaccine because I mean they're amongst everybody, passengers. I mean people that come down everywhere, children, you know, and they have to go cash with view for up and down everywhere. And by all means, you understand, the environment is you know to be safer, you know, being around them. Yes. It's it's, yes, it's a risky business for you. So yes, it, it should be the first um, set of people to get the vaccine. Yes, they is the premier set, but but um, it's an idea. The bus driver can drive, nurse, doctor, a passenger. You have me, you have class skinny, class skinny. So you are tip poop way. In the first place, you are tip poop way because you can drive too difficult to move. If you have key money, you will be on the safe side. Um, you only poop way, poop me. You are supposed to pay because you can, you can make l'argent, you are moon. Money on each is a point too. Um, definitely yes, because um, just like the doctors and the firemen and the police, they they interfere with money. So I think yes, they should. I I would say yes, yes, and then and I would say no. You understand? Because yes, the bus drivers they are dealing with plenty of people. You understand? But look at the vendors. The vendors deal with a lot of people, plenty more people than the bus driver itself, themselves. Look at the, 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 the supermarket clerks, how many people they deal with. Look at me, the amount of people I deal with, the cash I, I, I be touching on all that, you know. Um, we're talking about nurses, we're talking about firemen, we're talking about um, police. When the people fall sick, sometimes we interact with them before these people, you understand? So what I see is... Who wants it? Give it to them. You know, when you talk about essential and, and who wants it, give it to them. Their interaction on a daily basis is a huge one. And um, the persons that they meet and the monies that they handle every day um, put them at, at risk of getting the virus and then it puts us, the passengers, at, at risk as well. So they should be one of the first persons to consider to, you know, be vaccinated, considering also that many persons use the public bus. So it, it's, it's just a matter of giving it to them so we, the passengers, can feel safe because of the way they interact with persons every day. Thanks for those responses. Now to our new discussion. St. Lucia awarded the late founder of Sandals Resorts International, Gordon Butch Stewart, posthumously with the St. Lucia Cross. Stewart's company has three resorts in St. Lucia and is the owner of the Cap Estate Golf Club with a plan for a fourth resort. His investments in St. Lucia have resulted in the creation of about 800 direct jobs plus business opportunities for others. Questions have been raised about the bestowing of the St. Lucia Cross to the late Gordon Wood Stewart on the grounds that this should be reserved for St. Lucia Nationals. So, we ask, 
should the award of the St. Lucia Cross be restricted to St. Lucia Nationals. Voting is easy. Just log on to htsstlucia.org or Facebook at HTS St. Lucia Official and vote. You can also send your response via text or WhatsApp to 584 hts That's 584-4487. For Flow Handset owners, here is a reminder of your special voting platform. From your Flow Handset, text your EPOL response to 487. Press 1 to vote yes, 2 for no, 3 no comment, and 4 I don't know. Join the discussion from your Flow device and get the opportunity to win weekly prizes. And our EPOL team is always on the go to get your responses as well. Watch the HTS News Force from 7pm for the results and a new discussion.